when I tell you that I wasn't really expecting much from Finding Frankie, well, um, I didn't really expect anything. Like, the game looked cool when I first saw it, and I had it wishlist on Steam, but it wasn't until the game came out, and I was just blown away with how good it is. I know, I know, you've probably heard a bunch of people calling Finding Frankie the best horror game of 2024, but do they have a point? I mean, I've played a few games this year, a lot of horror games actually, and uh, I will say this, while it may not be the best horror game of 2024, it is a standout. I have to tell you, when I see parkour in horror games, I question everything about it. Like, parkour is something you see in a Minecraft server, not really in a horror game, but I think Finding Frankie gets the parkour right. Getting chased by anything is scary, but having to perform different movements when being chased is a whole different ball game. And I think the developers of Finding Frankie understood that and really took to that statement and completely tuned the parkour to make it really exciting. Even though some of the shit in this game is literally straight out of Fall Guys, it's still really terrifying. And I'll say this, the designs of the entities or the, honestly, whatever the f these things are, they're really cool. I will say they do look like Poppy Playtime a little bit. I kind of get some Huggy Wuggy vibes, but enough of that. Overall, the designs themselves are really good. It's like grabbing Poppy Playtime and Choo Choo Charles and like f blending them together and you get Finding Frankie. I will say this, Mascot Horror is getting a little bit repetitive with what is being pumped out, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's kind of just a reflection of what Mascot Horror is. I mean, people love shit like this. So the fact that we have this and a concept that is Finding Frankie is kind of to be expected. And I, for one, am all for this type of shit, but I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, you know, this is just all uh, kind of predictable at this point. I mean, can we get a mascot horror game that doesn't have a 15 foot thing? Enough yapping. What do I find that Finding Frankie does better than other horror games? Well, there's a few things I think this game nails, and that would be the gameplay. This game has some very unique gameplay in terms of horror games. The ability to do parkour, in a game that's horror is something that's very unique. I mean, you kind of have Dying Light. It's not really a horror game, but I mean, it kind of taps into that potential being chased by a volatile is terrifying, but Finding Frankie uses the whole parkour thing really well. The looming threat of failing a parkour obstacle and being eaten by this thing is quite terrifying and is something that I, for one, hate. And I also love how unhinged this game is. I mean, in the first minute, you literally see everyone in the whole contest get f eaten by Frankie. And that's cool. I like that stuff. Continue doing that, developers. Make shit unpredictable as f I mean, yeah, being chased by anything is terrifying. Poppy Playtime Chapter 1, Huggy Wuggy. That was terrifying. And then this game takes that and does like three of those sections. So it's, it's scary. Is it perhaps lacking in the atmosphere? A little bit. I mean, yes, this place is a lively, like, uh, parkour place, a bunch of jumpy castles. So, I mean, you can't really make anything too scary. I think in the later chapters, if this game does have more chapters, they will probably make shit more scary. But I feel like it's a good starting point to where we can go. I like how they kind of show how other people have failed the course. I mean, how do I put this shit lightly? People failed the course and were eaten by Frankie. Having details like that is cool. And having this thing being like a 50 year, what is it, a 20 year thing that people watch and live and shit is cool. I like that idea. But there's some areas that do fall quite flat. I'm going to talk about the slime run or the fall guy thing. This section of the game is not scary. And I know this game isn't just entirely a horror game. It is mascot horror. So expect there to be different things. But I do feel like if this section just had something chasing you, it would have been better. And I'm, I do think that this game kind of relies on being chased to be scary. But then again, as I mentioned before, it's mascot horror. You kind of expect this stuff at this point, And I don't think that's entirely bad. I really enjoy the section in the sewers where the hand is seen by Frankie. You can see Frankie's hand and it's like moving through the sewer and you have to go around it. That was really awesome. And the best part of the game, in my opinion, was the Hotline Henry section where you are in this really dark maze and you are being chased by Hotline Henry. I found that to be a very good section. And getting into some spoiler territory, but the ending is well. I'm sorry, but this scene is 
fucking hilarious. I love seeing just a bunch of random shit happen in this game, and the ending is just, it's, it's awesome. Seeing a bunch of like, what are these things called? Noob noobs? And they fall down and uh, they kill everything. I, I found that to be quite hilarious. And if I'm being honest, I do think if this game becomes a multiplayer game, I feel like there's a lot, and I will say this again, a lot of potential. I mean, imagine that last section, but with a, like a mate running around the place. I mean, that would be awesome. So definitely a lot of unique stuff that this game brings to the mascot horror table. Another thing is the story is really good as well. I mean, a lot of mascot horror games have stories that make no sense. I mean, look at FNAF. That's just been out for 10 years and people still don't know what the actual f is going on. So this game does a lot of good storytelling compared to other indie horror games or just mascot horror games. So pretty much Frankie is kind of like this nice chill dude. Well, appears to be, but at the end of the game, he kind of reveals to be a just the mastermind. And I really love the way this line is delivered. I mean, whoever did this line just killed it. In the whole like stakes where you're getting chased by the big Frankie thing and hearing that, honestly, it was amazing. Just top tier. And another great thing is finding Frankie is a full game. Yes, there's no like illusion that there's going to be more chapters. It's just one game. And that's great because I feel like a lot of mascot horror games kind of have this one game and it's like you get this little little teaser and if the game gets enough attention, then we may be bothered to make another game. It's not just like, let's just make one game that's good and that's it. It's always just like we need to make a game that kind of just is a finished product. And Finding Frankie is a finished product. But in saying that, there's, there's going to be another game that comes out. I hope it's a multiplayer game. That would be sick. I think I've yapped enough for this video. I'm sorry if this sounds completely off. I just had to like express my feelings about this game because I mean, if you watched my Zucosis video, I, 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 I'm a bit burnt out with indie horror games or mascot horror games, but I feel like this is definitely kind of giving me hope that there's, there's, there's a lot more good stuff to come in the near future for mascot horror. And Poppy Playtime Chapter 4 looks like it's going to be a really amazing game. So stuff's good at the moment. Let's continue being good mascot horror. Also, just quickly, I'm glad that this game has gore because I swear mascot horror games just don't have gore anymore. And that's something I feel like is a missed opportunity because this game shows it's cool to be ripped apart by a 15 foot just thing. It's cool, but I guess I'm done. That was my quick little take on Finding Frankie, a unique breath of fresh air in the mascot horror scene and something that I do think can be turned into a really good multiplayer game if it was to become one. I would love to see it. Anyways, I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, if you are brand new here, subscribe. That would be awesome. Never miss out on a future upload. I might yap more about horror games in the future. Who knows? Um, but yeah, until next time, take it easy and goodbye.